Yeah, what's happening, y'all? What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Hobby Clips. I hope y'all doing great today. I hope y'all did something productive today. I hope you got up in the morning and started doing y'all, okay? I hope y'all are focusing focusing on yourselves because me, myself, I've been really busy lately. I haven't posted in over a week. And this is because just because we've been working on the barbershop, we've been slowly getting back into the groove of things. I'm sorry I don't have my mask on. No one's in the shop right now, it's just me. So I could afford to do that type shit. I'm gonna disinfect and everything, y'all. We're back in the grind, we're back in the barbershop, we're back to get this money, we're back on this hustle, y'all. I'm telling you, this channel is all about growth. Y'all going with me and I'm going with y'all. If there's anything y'all can tell me that helped me grow, shit, man, I'll take that shit, you feel me? I don't care. I'm open-minded, I wanna keep on learning. I hope y'all wanna keep on learning too. And I hope y'all wanna be the better, best, version of yourselves ever honestly i've probably kept saying that ever since i started watching elliot Hulse's youtube videos back in like 20 and 2009 2009 you feel me he's always been saying become the best version of yourselves and that shit has stuck with me ever since i want y'all to become good i want me to be good i want all of us to eat i want all of us to stay winning you feel me Anyway, I've been talking way too much, y'all. Y'all gotta stop me sometimes. I just be rambling. But let's get into this video. I got my boy. He hasn't gotten a haircut in like three months, y'all. He's looking walky. You're gonna see in the beginning of the video, he's looking crazy, y'all. He is really looking crazy. Where your boy Hobby Clips brought him back to life. We even made him look kind of Puerto Rican. We even got some waves in his hair. It's like, shit, you feel me? Like, yo, let me know what you think of the video. Anything you guys wanna learn, anything like that. Anything you see in the video that you like, let me know in the comment section below, y'all, alright? And, 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 I noticed, I hope y'all noticed, I got a new haircut. Your boy got a new haircut, y'all. You see this, right? Come on, son. My boy Brian got the curls ready, got the skin fade, the beard. He had me looking right, y'all. He had me looking right. My boy Brian, he put me on to all of this. And because of that, I want to put y'all on. He helped me, and I just want to help y'all. Let's get to the video, y'all. All right? I do it for real. There's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. God damn, it's really looking crazy for my boy right here. Don't worry, don't worry, y'all. Your boy Howie Clips came into the rescue, as you can see right here. First thing I ended up doing was spraying his hair with some water. The reason why you want to do this is because, depending on the style, you want to comb it and brush it down a certain way. So, his natural hair goes to the right it just naturally goes to the right y'all and what we're gonna do is i'm putting in a little part right over there on the side of his head i'm sorry i didn't get a chance to film that i just wasn't thinking about it at the moment but i am dividing a little bit of a part on his left side and once i do flip him over you guys are gonna see what i am talking about well i'm just trying to make that as clean as crispy as straight as i can and i'm just still doing that just parting everything in the natural direction that it wants to go and i'm gonna keep emphasizing this natural direction that it wants to go don't force the hair to move any specific way it doesn't want to because i'm telling y'all it will not come out good it will come out kind of messed up you feel me so just keep on you see i'm just doing it naturally how it wants to move i'm not maneuvering it to a different position and after i get the hair in the position that I want it to be. The next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of clip over comb, a little bit of clip over comb action. The only reason why I'm doing this is to sh start shaping his head. And another primary reason why I'm doing this, y'all, is so I could get rid of all that bulk. My man's been like three months without a haircut. You feel me? My man's Adam been three months without a haircut. So if I try to run my fucking clippers on that through all that hair, you better know my clippers is getting clogged and I'm gonna have to buy a new machine. So instead of doing that, I'm just clipper over combing really, really just to get all that bulk out of there. And I can see what I'm working with so I can see the canvas I want to work with. You feel me? You're going to want to do this all around the head. You see, I kind of started from the back and then move my way to the right. And then I'll go back again and work my way on the other side of his head. You want to go in and out, y'all. Just go in and out. Don't go too, don't go 
digging into this guy's scalp, you feel me? Please do not do that, y'all. Because you might regret something, you might take off too much, and then you're going to be like, yo, I should have listened to Hobby Clips. Right here, guys, our next step, y'all, is grabbing your number three guard open, and you still want to keep removing that bulk, primarily the bottom half of his head. Uh, as you can see, my arm movement, I'm really just scooping out. I'm being really smooth with it. I'm scooping out, not digging in too deep, because I'm telling you we're going to need a good amount of hair on the top some bulk on the side so we could blend in that short hair to the long hair and i'm telling you i'm not going too high up y'all please do not go too high up y'all you're gonna regret it and i told you before you're gonna be like damn i really should have listened to hobby clips you feel me so i'm only saying this through experience bro i've been brought this shit up all the way high and then i had no room to fade so from the long hairs to the short hairs you feel me so over here next step y'all and i'm telling you this honestly if he had dark hair like dark hair i would have given him the cleanest skin taper ever y'all i'm not i'm not even playing with y'all but the thing is his hair is so thin his hair not even thin it's just so light y'all it's so light it's so light and it's actually kind of like silky you could even see it in the video y'all because his hair is so light I just ended up doing the one and a half closed and I just brought it right above his ear and down into the head and into the back. You want to do the same thing on the other side. You want to just connect the two. You feel me? You could do it how I just did right now. Connect it from one side to the back to the other side or you could do one side and then do the other side and then connect the both sides in the back. It's totally up to how you guys want to do it but the main thing that you should be getting out of this is the guideline that i am building for myself you gotta know your clients you gotta know what would look good and what wouldn't look good you feel me just because i felt like he would look really dope with a crispy tape or a crispy lineup i didn't make his haircut skin so right here guys i got my number two guard it is open right now and i'm just bringing it up to the crown area uh, that's all i'm doing y'all i'm just bringing it up to the crown area and i am just slowly 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 closing my lever as i start approaching that bottom line you could see in a couple of these uh, clips that i am actually moving my lever down and down and down right here i got my guard my two guard closed you feel me and I'm just slowly attacking that line. I, I just moved it right now. You see it. And you got to understand, this is not going to take that line out. It will not take it out. Sometimes it can, sometimes it won't, depending on how you put it in your first guideline. You feel me? But if you really, really, really want to take that, that line out, grab your babies. Grab your one and a half. Open. Because remember, you did that one and a half closed as your first guideline. Remember? So because you're doing it open and you're fading into that number two guard, you're less, less, less likely to create any lines, y'all. I'm dead ass serious. I'm not promising you that you're not going to make any lines because depending on how heavy handed you are, depending on how your technique is, you might create a couple lines here. You feel me? But, but, but once you learn to master it, guys, once you learn how to master your, your hand technique, the scooping, all of that, once you get an eye for everything and you start doing more cuts, y'all, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be so simple. It's going to be like, like nothing. Like you just woke up out the womb cutting hair. You feel me? It's going to be second nature. When I first started cutting hair, y'all, I did not want to cut hair, bro. I really didn't. I felt like every single time I wanted to cut hair. I would always mess people up. I would always be super anxious and nervous. But that's just the part of the game, y'all. And honestly, this whole barber and shit honestly made me the most confident I've ever felt in my whole life. You feel me? Just get through that pain. Get through the suffering. Get through all of that because the risk is so high, y'all. The risk is so high when everyone, everyone you know wants to cut from you. You feel me? And I'm telling you, just keep at this, Kings. The other side right here. The other side right here, guys. I'm sorry for rambling. Same thing. One and a half open. You just scoop in and that line starts disappearing, y'all. It's that simple, guys. Don't make it too complicated than what it is. And like I said in the beginning, know your clients. Know what kind of hair they have. What will look good on them. If something doesn't look good, bring it up. Don't tell me you won't do it, but just bring it up. 
you know and that they still want it cool i'll give you what the client wants give them what they want you feel me doesn't mean you can't make any type of recommendations bro this right here my boy adam he did not know at all what he wanted at all i was trying to explain to him what i wanted to give him yeah my boy just said yo do you be I was like, what? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. What do you mean do me? Because I will really do me. You feel me? Like, yo, that's the type of clients that I love, bro. They just let me have that freedom to do whatever. And they be cool with it, you know? And it's, I'm, I don't know if you've ever had this cup before. I don't know if you, he's ever had this type of cup. Maybe he has. But, you know, I gave him that crispy lineup too. So, it's just a whole different experience too, you know? Just keep cutting, y'all. You can see right here, I got a little bit of scissors over comb. And I'm just trying to fade in a little bit, a little bit. So that way, it won't be too crazy, you know? And if you still can't get that that line out, that bulk out, then try to fade it in as much as you can with your thinning shears that I'm going to show you in a little bit. You feel me? But right here, at the end of the haircut, we're just trying to take off all that extra hair. We don't need that. Hobby clips don't need that. Your clients don't need that. No one needs that. You feel me? You just go section by section trying to take off all that extra hair. Just be careful, y'all. Just be a little careful. You know, you just got to watch out for your fingers. And sometimes, honestly, this might not create that fade effect. You might not be able to make that transition. You know, that's when you have to go over a different little bits of techniques like clip over comb, shears over comb, or you grab your number two guard, you know. But it's all just experience, guys. That's all it is. This is just a bunch of practice, you feel me? It wasn't always like that. It's just keep cutting more hair, and then you're just going to keep getting better at your craft, y'all. Same thing right here. I just got my shears, and I'm just clipper over combing. So, guys, honestly, I've been really liking pinpoint cutting on the top a lot. That's a fact. I actually have been liking that a lot because instead of just cutting straight across, you cut every other hair so it gives it that texture look after you're done with it. So you see, you're going to see once my hand starts getting in frame how I'm cutting the hair, how I'm positioning my hand. I'm literally cutting every other hair instead of straight across. Don't get me wrong, I do use the straight across method as well when I'm starting to blend in the bottom hairs into the top hairs, you feel me? But with this type of method, you can really give that textured effect, that little wrinkles and ripples and the haircut and shit like that. I'm telling you, it really does make a difference. But, but, but it's not for everyone. Not everyone likes that style. Not everyone likes that messy look. You feel me? Not everyone likes that textured look. Some people really, really like it. Super clean and neat. But as you can see right here, I'm going from the front, I'm doing about four fingers, and then I'm slowly, gradually cutting more as I get to the back. The reason why you want to do this is so you could blend in those back hairs into the shorter hairs on the bottom, to that number three guard, you feel me? That's the reason why you want to do this. And right here, I am cutting straight across because like I said, I am still blending in as much as I can before I have to do anything else. And his hair is looking actually pretty, pretty fucking wavy right now. He looks like some Brad Pitt and Kerry right now. Stop playing with your boy. I'm telling you, he's looking nice. Kings, kings, now we're gonna go into my favorite, favorite part of the haircut. After you do all the fading, after you do all the scissor work, you're gonna wanna do the lineup. The lineup brings everything together. You will have a shitty fade, but your lineup, your lineup is crispy. I'm telling you, the haircut is about to be so much better. It's gonna have your clients coming back to you just because of how well you did your lineup you feel me that doesn't mean you should compensate the lineup for the haircut everything should be balanced out together if you have your weak points work on your weak points you know make everything strong make all your weaknesses stronger make everything good and work balanced together in a haircut because at the end of the day like i said you're just growing you don't want to stay stagnant you don't want to stay comfortable you want to keep on growing right over here you saw how it started and i went down and then i just went over the ear i'll show you on the other side as well right here how i started right behind the ear and then i made my way into his head like almost like a diagonal line you feel me but 
you don't, I don't know, it's, it's a little tricky with some barbers because some barbers do tend to make the tape in the back a little wide and I just feel like sometimes that doesn't really fit anyone that great, you know? So I just tend to make it a little skinnier towards the back just so I can really have that form, that little tapered look, you know? My bad for blocking the camera, y'all. I tend to do this a lot sometimes. But I'm going to go over the ear right now. And you kind of want to imagine your trimmers are like a pencil. You're just trimming that half circle over the ear. And I'm not going too far above his ear either. You feel me? We want to keep this as natural as it could be. Because when it starts growing out, y'all, oof, they're, they're going to hate it. You're gonna hate it because it's gonna look so bad. The point with these haircuts is I'm trying to say is you want to keep it as natural as you can. So when it does grow out, it grows out really great. And you don't see any of the razor marks or any of the other things that you had to push back so bad because it had to be crispy. A haircut can look crispy and still be natural at the same time, y'all. You feel me? Right here, like I said, I'm just still doing a little bit more scissor work. I'm doing some more sheer work. I'm just clipper over combing. I'm doing a little different mix of things. But I'm just going over it and over it until I feel like it is good. Until like I feel it is satisfactory for the type of look we're going for. And you see, I'm slowly going at it, taking little by little. You don't want to take too much off because if you take too much off, obviously you can't take, you can't put it back on. So... Go little by little, keep adjusting, and you're gonna know when it's good. You're gonna know when it's like, I right, bet this is good. So, like I said, I couldn't really take it off completely with the scissors, so I went over with that number two guard open. Remember, we started with that number two guard open, so you just slowly go up, you just go up. I fast forward this a little bit, and then you make your way down a little bit, you know. Start with your two guard open and then slowly work your way down. That's all it is, guys. Don't be too rough. Be gentle. Treat your head because like a girl, you know, treat them right. Treat them gentle. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you get a little rough. But you know, for a maple, you could be a little gentle. This is what I meant by the thinning shears I was telling you guys about. You feel like there's still a line there. Don't be afraid to hit it with your thinning shears. I'm telling you, it's going to save you so much trouble. It's going to lighten that up. It's going to lighten whatever line you have. And right here, y'all, all I'm doing is blow drying his hair up and back just to give it a little bit more volume because his hair really was, I don't want to say flat. It just didn't have as much volume as it could have if it wasn't blow dried. You feel me? Just to give it that little oomph, you know, that's all it is. Guys, 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 sorry for yelling your ears, but that is the cut right there. That is the textured top, square to back. We got the fade going on, nothing too crazy, just a really simple haircut, y'all. Skin fades don't mean it's good, simple haircuts don't mean it's bad, you know? They're all just haircuts, we all just want to make sure that the client likes what he sees, that he feels comfortable in his skin with his hair, you know? That's the hobby clips experience, I would say. I like to talk and bond with my clients as well and get to know them. That should be like for everyone as well too, you feel me? Like, uh, he looked way different than when he <laughs> gave it to the shop, y'all. Hope you liked it, hobby clips. Comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all want anything in return. Yeah. Oh, that's ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah.